what we're going to do in this video is to start thinking about adding mixed numbers. Now just as a reminder of what a mixed number is, it'd be something like three and two eighths. It's called mixed because part of the way we represent this number is as a whole number, the three, and then part is as a fraction, two eighths. But the number is three and two eighths. So let's think about how we might be able to add three and two eighths to five and three eighths. So pause this video and see if you can, if you can have a go at this before we work through this together. All right, now let's work through this together. Now there's a couple of ways that we could approach this. You might recognize that three and two eighths is the same thing as three plus two eighths, and five and three eighths is the same thing as five plus three eighths. And so if we add these two things together, we're just adding really these four things together. And the order in which we add doesn't matter, so you could view this as three plus five plus two eighths plus two eighths plus three eighths. Notice it's just the same thing. I'm just changing the order with which we are adding. And now what is three plus five? Three holes plus five holes. Well, that's just going to be eight. And then what is two eighths plus three eighths? Well, if I have two of something, in this case eighths, and I add three more of that something, in this case eighths, I'm gonna have five of that something, in this case five eighths. So this is going to be eight plus five eighths, which we can express as a mixed number as just being equal to eight and five eighths. Now there's other ways that you might see folks approaching this. You might see something like this, where people will write three plus two eighths, and then they will write right below that, they'll write the five in the ones place, or in the whole number, and there's only a ones place in these, holes, in these whole numbers, so you'd write the five right below the three, and then plus, and then the fraction you'd write right below the fraction. Three eighths. And then we can add vertically like this, where first we can look at the fractional part, two eighths plus three eighths is going to be equal to five eighths, and then three plus five is going to be equal to eight, and if you add these two together, eight and five eighths, you get eight and five eighths. So different ways to approach it, but that will hopefully start to get you comfortable with adding mixed numbers.